Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my very first self-care Sunday video. So today I'm going to be sharing some self-care body care products that I like to use. These are the products that I've been enjoying recently over the last few months. I've been wanting to film this video for such a long time. I'm happy that I finally got around to doing this video for you guys. Um, for me, I like to pick one or two days that I choose to be like my extra self-care day or body care day. Um, for me, I like to do it uh, like right before I go back to work. So I like to do it like midweek when you need a little pick me up self-care day or at the end of the week before I start my new work week. So for me, that is mostly Wednesday and Sunday or Wednesday and Saturday, depending on whether or not I work that Sunday. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys the products that I've been using and enjoying. That way, if you guys wanna try some of these products, then hopefully you guys will um, enjoy it. So, so yeah, let's dive into this video right now well, for me i've always had like sensitive skin growing up i never really tried a lot of products so i think that now that i've been kind of branching out and not only am i branching out but i like that more brands have more affordable clean smell good spa like products that way you can do your self-care at home without feeling like you're breaking the bank. So most of these products are pretty affordable. Um, you can get them at your local drugstore, Walmart, Target. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys will find something useful in this video. So before I get into the actual products that I'm using, I'm gonna mention candles. Now I know this is not like a product that I use, but for me on those self-care days where I just want a little extra feel good, I like to start off by lighting a candle. These are the Forever Mood Candles by Jackie Aina. You guys know I love. This is the Butterfly Effect. This was one that she recommended for like the bathroom. So I like to keep this one in here. I love these candles because if you light one, it will literally smell the entire house. So I love that. So if you're wanting to like just start off with something like lighting a candle, whatever your favorite candle is, it could be drugstore, it could be Bath and Body Works, it could be luxury like this. It doesn't really matter, but as long as it smells good and it's something that you like, start off with burning a candle, put on your favorite music. I have an Alexa in the bathroom that I like to use and I'll just depending on how I feel. I might tell her to just play me something, play my favorite music, or if I'm more specific, I might tell her to play an exact artist that I'm feeling or, you know, but your mood changes. So whatever you feel for, um, I would highly recommend if you wanna just have that spa-like feeling, start with a candle and some music and set the mood. So if you wanna dim the lights, go ahead and dim the lights. This is all about self-care, it's about you, it's about taking some time for yourself, whatever that might be. And that's what I've been doing a lot of for the last few months, just enjoying the me time. Like, take that me time. I know sometimes I don't really do it every day or the two days that I want to do it, but I try to at least do that one day out of the week and preferably the day before I go back to work just to kind of reset, refresh, and be ready to attack the work week. So that is my little tip for you guys. The other thing I like to use is a room spray. Um, I got this one from Target. It says Clarity on it. I don't know if you guys can see because it's super bright, but this is with grapefruit and ginger. I guess it has different, um, different like feeling that you want. So this is for Clarity. Um, next time I buy, I'm going to see what other ones they have. They probably have something relaxing and stuff. But I like to like spray this when I go into like my bedroom. Um, just to kind of set the mood before I go to bed. But anyway, let's come back to the um, shower routine per se. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is like a tool that I like to use. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys because I bought it and tried it. This is the Buddha bath wash. I don't know if you want to call it a wash rag. I don't know about you guys, but I had a love hate relationship with washcloths. I feel like one, they might be small at times. Um, they tend to trap more, you know, 
like when you use it and you're trying to rinse it out it seems like forever trying to get soap out of it just stuff like that it drove me a little bit crazy using regular washcloths um and then the little sponge what's that sponge thing called that most people use i honestly don't like it i feel like it's not really doing what i want it to do so i saw someone on youtube mention these and it just looks so good um this is like a exfoliating cloth i don't know if you guys can see like the texture it's kind of see-through so it doesn't really trap a lot of like bacteria dirt whatever you want to call it it is super long super long so you can get your back and everything um, it's just perfect and this is I guess like a Korean skincare tool and I don't know about you but if you know Koreans have all of the skincare secrets so if they recommend something or love to use something I'll definitely try it out but anyway these are sold on Amazon I will link it down below they come in different colors and they also come in different um, texture so if you're looking for something more soft i actually need to order the soft one because i want to see how it feel i did get the medium one so it exfoliates so if you don't feel like using like a body scrub all the time this would be a great tool because you're still getting some exfoliation without doing the other products so this is what i've been using for a couple months maybe two months now and i absolutely love it comes in a pack of two and yeah it just feels better than a regular washcloth so i don't know just give it a try <laughs> all right so now that we're moving on i'm gonna start with um body wash slash soap um the one i've been currently using is the raw sugar soap bar i use their um Okay, the raw sugar soap bar. I just finished their body wash before I switched over to the bar soap. The body wash was nice. It was a super big bottle, super affordable, super affordable. You can also get it at Target. What I loved about it was just the size and the price as well, and it smelled amazing, but it didn't lather as much as I love for my soaps to lather. It was decent. So I figured when I went to Target and I saw that they had bar soap like how cute is this bar soap so cute has the raw sugar logo in the back um, it comes in a pack of two I'm pretty sure this was less than five dollars this is the raw coconut this is the raw coconut and mango free of sulfates and parabens it's vegan it smells really really good and I feel like the bar soap ladder is more than the body wash so that is the reason why I wanted to give it a try and so far I've been loving it and it also lasts a really long time and I feel like these two put together you don't even need you know normally like you have a bar soap you have to sit there and ladder put some hand muscle into it you don't have to do this with this like a few glides over this washcloth and it's like good to go like i don't know how to explain it but i love this soap bar i can't wait to try it in different scents and stuff and yeah that is what i've been using i just feel like i could tell you guys about the products i'm using without actually being in the shower like on the days that i'm doing my self-care routine um, I like to use a body scrub after I use my bar soap. Now I know a lot of people recommend it before you do anything, before you shave and stuff like that. Um, I probably should do that. I, I want to do that next time to do this before I actually shave. But I usually go into this. I just love the way it feels right before you step out of the shower. You use the scrub, you rinse it off. It just leaves your skin feeling moisturized. So this is my second bottle of the Sephora body scrub. Um, this is their sugar body scrub. Really affordable. I believe it's $17. Get it on Sephora.com. I absolutely love this body scrub and it's a lot that comes in it into it it doesn't really have a scent or anything but as you guys can see i'm almost done with it um yeah i want to i'm looking forward to trying a bunch of other body scrubs and stuff but i kind of got hooked on that one but once i'm done with that i'll give some other ones a try let me know if you guys want more updates what category of self-care you guys want to know about but yeah while we're on the topic of body scrubs the next one i'm gonna mention is this underarm detox scrub now i had no idea that detoxing your underarm was a thing i had no idea 
but I was watching a YouTube video by Too Much Mouth. If you don't follow her, I'll, I'll link her YouTube channel down below. Um, she was talking about it and I was like, wait, I should have done this before I even switch from regular deodorant to the vegan all natural deodorant. So I've been using the native um, deodorant for a few months. I know a lot of people don't like natural deodorants because they say they don't do nothing, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I love that deodorant. Um, the only thing I will say with the native or with natural deodorant is that it doesn't stop you from sweating. So if you're having to go out all day and you know you're going to be in the sun or something like that and you don't want to be sweating, then for that day or vacation, or something you can take with you a regular you know deodorant but this is your detox so if you're thinking about going from regular deodorant to your clean natural deodorant and I would recommend doing a detox first or if you go back and forth you can also use this in between and I just like to use it once a week so this is the Pacifica coconut and charcoal underarm detox scrub a free your pits plus charcoal and green tea this one is vegan and cruelty free and cruelty free and it is a pretty good size and I've used this multiple times and it just seemed like it's not even going nowhere and all you do is take a little bit and rub it until it kind of dissolve and just rinse it so I like to do this once a week just as a self-care product just to make sure I'm taking care of my body the best way I can so yeah I didn't even know this was a thing I believe it's on Amazon again I will double check and make sure and um, link it down below all right, so since we were just talking about body scrubs and shaving, I just picked up this um, gel cream hair removal. This is the Veet one. I picked it up at Target and what sold me on this, which I don't even know where it's at right now, but it comes with this like plastic piece that you can use. It's not a razor, but you can use it in the form of um, the razor motion just to remove the hair after um, having this on for five to ten minutes so that sold me on it I will say that I don't believe this works on a lot of hair it just didn't do what I wanted to do um, it said that it gently removes even short stubborn hair so I'm gonna try it again but I felt like for the ten minutes I left it on it didn't remove quickly as I thought it would I had to put a little bit of hand muscle into rinsing it off and trying to make sure I got all of it off. So yeah, still want to mention this because I thought it was a cool idea to be able to use this like a regular shaving cream with the tool without having to use a razor because I don't do razors. I just can't. <laughs> All right, so we're still in the shower. So after using my body wash or bar soap, I've been loving using the Olay rinse off conditioners. If you've never tried a rinse off conditioner, I highly recommend giving these a try. They have different ones, different scents. I had a different one that was just like um, vitamin B3 or B12 or something in it. And it didn't smell or feel as good as this one with shea butter does. I've been seeing people on YouTube talk about the one with shea butter for months now and I'm like, mm, I don't really need it. Like I can just keep using the one I'm using and then eventually I get around to this. But finally I gave in and it smells like heaven and just the smell not even how it feels like it feels so good so if you're wanting to if you use something in the shower whether it's a body wash or something that just once you rinse that off your skin feels super super dry you need to try these rinse off conditioners because this puts all the moisture back into your skin uh, it just feel like luxury and it's like five bucks it is a small bottle but i don't use it every single day i try to use it every few days or just when i feel like i need it but it smells good it's just a body conditioner you just rub it all over after you use your body wash and then you rinse it off before it's stepping out of the shower i literally used this last night and i didn't even put on the lotion that's how good my skin felt but yeah it is really really good so i highly recommend giving these a try and it is now gonna be a staple in my self-care routine i'm gonna see if i can go ahead and get more of these on amazon because i might have to start using it like every day or every other day 
so yeah so we're almost done I'm down to the last two things and the first one is a feminine wash so I gave that up for a while now finally I wanted to go in and try the honey pot because it's black owned, it's good, it's natural, that's what everybody has said about it. So I went into Target and while I was looking for the honey pot, I came across this one which is the Down There Wash. I actually saw someone mention this one, I was like, oh okay. Um, yeah, and this was $3.49 and it is 8 ounces. So I've been using this for a couple months. It smells so fresh and clean. It is such a nice cleanse. And they also have um, like the little feminine wipes that I picked up as well. Super affordable, um, paraben free, pH balanced, gentle nourishing, cruelty free, and it does smell fresh. And they also have different scents. This one is the, it just says V Fresh. I don't think that's the scent, but it is super, super nice. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a feminine wash, I would highly recommend either this one. Well, I haven't tried the honey pot, but I like this one. And while we're on the topic of feminine wash, I also picked up these two from Venus. This is the Daily Soothing um, Serum, and this one is the Hair and Skin Softening Oil. So these two are really, really nice. If you're looking for something where when you shave and stuff, um, you have um, just irritation from the new growth and stuff like that because if you're not used to shaving down there you might feel a little bit of irritation your first few times these are really really good I haven't been using them consistently because I haven't really had any irritation or anything but just know like these products are there for you guys at the drugstore um, really really nice and it's a big bottle so these will last you a really long time so yeah those are my um, feminine type products that I've been using recently and I absolutely love them and now to the final thing is body butter so the body butters that I've been loving the most is the one from the Sephora line it's just like this but the body butter and also the Josie Marion whipped organ oil now this one is more on the pricey side I picked this up in my Sephora sale this is their ultra hydrating body butter so the two body butters that I've been loving the most are the one from the Sephora line I'm, I'm on my like third bottle of that product it is just like the body scrub same container and everything but of course it's a body cream and then the other one is the Josie Marin whipped argan oil now this one I don't use every day I use this when I'm mostly like going out and I want that glowy skin or even during the week when I'm doing my self-care and I just want to feel that luxurious feeling <laughs> I just want to do a little extra on my self-care product. I might put this on but my daily one is the one from Sephora It's a big container like this bottle holds 13 ounces So it, and it's really thick, but it rubs out so nicely So that's the one I've been using and loving for months. I think I mentioned it in another video already that, Those are all the products that I've been using yeah, that wasn't so bad. All right, you guys. So those are all the body care, self-care products that I've been using and enjoying um, over the last few months. Let me know down below which one of these products you've already tried or which one of these products you'll probably um, wanting to try after watching this video. So hopefully I was helpful to someone out there that is looking for some new products to try. Um, yeah, I highly recommend all these products. I will definitely repurchase them again. Self-care is just such a huge thing mentally, physically, emotionally, and it starts with stuff like this in the shower, in the bathroom, just doing those things that make you feel good, that make your body feel good, and at the same time you're taking care of your beautiful skin. So that's always a plus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a little comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.